Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world, home of the air, castle of the sound. It's the Marty Stewart Show, featuring Marty Stewart, the Rolls Royce of country singers, Miss Tommy Smith, the old Tennessee slicker, Leroy Troy, along with all the fabulous superlatives, cousin Kitty Mom, the handsome Harry Stinson, the apostle Paul Martin, along with Midland Jason Carter. Today's special guest, country music hall of famer, Earl Scruggs. Join us for the next 30 minutes of fun and great country music with our star, ladies and gentlemen, Grand Ole Opry star, Marty Stewart. Thank you so much, Eddie Stout. Hey, 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 somebody say howdy. Now this here is a story about the Rock Island Line. See, the Rock Island Line's an old train that runs from Illinois down into New Orleans. Now, if you haul in certain things on board, when you get down into New Orleans, you got to pay the man some toll at the toll booth. I hate that toll, man. I do, too. I hate that toll. The fella pulled his train up down at the toll booth, stuck his head out and said, Hey, boy, what you got on your train? And he said, he said, I got livestock, I got livestock, I got cows, I got pigs, got sheep, I got mules, got all livestock, I got all livestock, I got all livestock. He said, Are you all right then? He said, I thought you might be hauling some of that old pig iron. He said, What in the world is pig iron? He said, Man, that's what we're calling hot hubcaps today. He said, there was a banker's convention in Moline, Illinois. A bunch of bankers been taking money out of farmers' pockets, had a big convention. Somebody stole all the hubcaps off their car. He said, that wouldn't be me. He said, well, you all right then, boy. So he started picking up a little speed to get on through the toll booth. He went, through the toll booth he looked back he said hey boy i fooled you i got a train full of hot hub caps off bankers that stole money out of farmers pockets he said well, you all right then have a good trip on the rock island line well i fooled you i fooled you i got big iron got big iron got all big iron i got all big iron i got all big iron yeah. Rock out the line, it's a mighty good road. Rock out the line, it's a road to ride. Rock out the line, it's a mighty good road. If you ride, you gotta ride it like you find it. Get your ticket at the station for the rock out the line. Cloudy in the whist, looking like a rain. Around the curve, come a pass the train. Northbound train and a southbound track. She's all right at leaving, but she won't be back. Rock out the line, it's a mighty good road. Rock out the line, it's a road to ride. Rock out the line. It's a mighty good road. If you ride, you gotta ride it like you're finding. Get your ticket at the station for the Rock Island Line. Go ahead! The engineer said before he died, two more drinks that I'd like to try. Conductor said, what could they be? A hot cup of coffee and a cold glass of tea. Rock out of line, it's a mighty good road. Rock out of line, it's a road to ride. Rock out of line, it's a mighty good road. If you ride, you gotta ride it like you're finding it. You take it to the station with the rock out of line. Everything's going to be all right, don't you think, handsome Harry? Yes, I hate think that toe. Hate fine. that toe. Uh, welcome to the Marty Stewart Show, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking for country music, you have found it right here on RFD. And we've got the fabulous superlatives with you tonight. The Apostle Paul, handsome Harry, cousin Kenny, Eddie Stubbs. Look at you, boy. Dennis, can you get a shot of that shoe? <laughs> Look at him, Harry. Look at Come him. Come on. Ho, ho, ho. 
<laughs> it took two Holstein cows to make that, Marty. Two Holstein cows at least. A lot of cows gave their life for that water ski right there. <laughs> a couple weeks back, you called these the Foggy Mountain the Specials. The Foggy Mountain Specials. Well, funny you mention that. We have our own personal hero here today, one of the cornerstones of country music, one of the cornerstones of American music. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, my man, Eugene, the Shelby, North Carolina Flash himself. How about a hand for Earl Scruggs, ladies and gentlemen? I said Shelby. <laughs> that's, that's close. Come on in here. I said Shelby, it's more like Flint Hill, ain't it? They're pretty close together. Pretty close together. Yeah. Honor to have you here, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. Glad to see all the folks in the studio, too. Yes, sir. Well, I got your picture on the wall over there, and I it'll, it'll be here every show, because if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be doing a TV show right oh. now. That's the truth. <laughs> Let's play John Henry the Steel Driver, oh. man. about that Earl Scruggs, uh-huh, yes, sir. Yeah. Earl, there's a fellow over here I'd like to introduce. Uh, my favorite time of the week when I was a young and growing up in Mississippi was sitting with my daddy on Saturday afternoons to watch y'all on TV. That's my daddy, John, that's my mama, Hilda. How about a hand for my folks over there? Thank you. He was about 13 years old, too, wasn't he? Yeah, at least. <laughs> And I tell you what else, my wife Connie said the first time she ever saw country music was on your TV show. So why don't we get Connie out here to sing a song with us right now? Hello, my name Connie Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Where are you, baby? Oh yeah. There's Earl. It's an honor to be standing on the stage with you, Mr. Scruggs. This is a great old Carter family song called "Storms Are on the Ocean."
Thank you, Connie. Well, I introduced you to the fabulous superlatives a few minutes ago. We're going to put the Apostle Paul. Somebody said, why do you call him the Apostle Paul? Well, he's got a thousand watt smile hooked up to a million watts worth of talent, and he plays the bass and sings in a righteous manner. Here it comes. Apostle, are you ready? The Bluegrass Express. A one, two, three. Riding the Bluegrass Express Riding the Bluegrass Express This train will soon be gone And I'm going home On the Bluegrass Express She crossed the river at Newport Town Louisville, Lexington, she's southbound Richmond, Winchester, This train will soon be gone And I'm going home On the Bluegrass Express This train will soon be gone and I'm going home on the Blue Grass Express. On the Blue Grass Friends, say hello, say hello to Mr. Jason Carter, if you would, from the Dale McCurry Band. We appreciate you moonlighting on Dale and the boys. They'll be on our show in just a few weeks. But uh, I've never got you in anything bad, have I? No, never sir. Never told you wrong. <laughs> no, sir. Well, I'm about to put you into something that's going to change your life for the better. A little country culture here. The Goodlettsville Flash, the most popular man in country music, the king of country music. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for the old Tennessee slicker, Leroy Troy? How about a hand for Leroy? Where is he? Come on! Come on! See there? Hello, Leroy. What's the good word from Goodlettsville, son? 
Well, the good word from Gulletsville, I guess, is uh, old Leroy gets to get out of the house this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, pick one for us. What you got on your mind? All right. Uh, I like your shoes, Eddie. <laughs> um, <laughs> A lot of cows died for those. Yeah, I don't say. Here's one called My Rabbit Dog. Yes, sir. Here, uh, see. We'll give Jason a break, too. All righty. Here we go. Finest rabbit dog in Middle Tennessee well, The greatest name in all these parts Since General Robert Lee He hit the ground to run And when he was three weeks old First thing he found for me Was a big old pot of gold He was the greatest time mine That I've ever known Now Leroy Troy's rabbit dog Is gone, gone, gone Play the band. Shotgun, Gilly spied a rabbit and he got him on the run. He's chasing through the country, chasing through the town. Right. They lit across the ridge and now they're heaven bound. He was the greatest time I've ever known. Now Leroy Troy's rabbit dog is gone, gone, gone. Come on, Jason. Jason, <laughs> I saw a wheel of fire turning way up in the sky. When I saw what it was, I began to realize Gilly Dog was on the trail of Zeke's wheel of sparks, running for a rabbit on the deck of Noah's Ark. All right, he was the greatest time mine that I've ever known. Woo. Now Leroy Troy's rabbit dog is gone, gone, gone. Is gone, 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 gone. Yes! Big doings! Thank you. All right. Leroy Troy's rabbit dog is gone, gone, gone. Well, I hope he comes back soon, Leroy. Well, we've had a lot of fun so far. It's time we settle back right now and get serious with you, if we may. We're going to call on Marty Stewart, Connie Smith, and Handsome Harry Stinson is going to round out the trio, one of the old favorites here, when he reached down his hand for me. Once my soul was astray from the heavenly way. I was wretched and blind as could be. Till my Savior in love Looked down from above And he reached down his hand for me When the Savior reached down for me When he reached down his hand for me I was lost and undone without God or His Son when He reached down His hand for me. When the Savior reached down for me, 
when he reached way down for me. I was lost and undone without God or his son when he reached down his hand for me. Thanks again for coming, Earl. My pleasure. My pleasure. It's an honor to have you here. Don't know that we ought to end the show without the national anthem. Would you lay into it for yes, us? Dude. Foggy Mountain Breakdown, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good night, everybody.